afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Stocks with Show Play of the Day in Sale. This was a really nice gap this morning, uh, rated high, and uh, went to a number it did, didn't even have written down here, actually. Uh, played out extremely well in the morning, and I called an afternoon trade or a later morning trade in, in this, and uh, George was asked about this in the room, and he's like, what do you think this goes? And you know, a lot of people took the, the second trade and then got out of it. And I said, this is going to break a new low. And that's exactly what it did. It went down to 17. It actually, I mean, 18, it actually went past 18 to 17.95. And obviously the day's over in a couple minutes here, but this had a beautiful, beautiful move today. So let's go over it. Going all the way back. First entry is always the best though. First entry is always, always, always the best. Um, but there was a couple different setups in here. Nice gap, open, broke, fell down. Here's the first move in here. Actually, 1950 was a target, and so it would have been absolutely fine to take half out here or more than half out here, actually, because of the fact that this was a sizable gap down, broke fast and quick, and then went to a first number. However, rally back, reset up. This is the beautiful, fabulous, terrific uh wonderful entry actually if you size this properly and put the stop at the right place um, that fell all the way down in here and basically broke a dollar thirty and after it did that what it did was rallied up here and so it's watching this watching this watches this and here's where I called the late entry in this and and I'm just so shocked that people took this and they got out of it so quickly this is one of the ones that I was discussing this today in the room. You can't get out just because of one green bar. You just can't kill something. It's one green bar. You can't get out whether you're up or down. Look at the move this had in the afternoon. This actually had, from the entry I called in here, it was 1918. 1918 was the entry point that I called in this for the secondary move in this to fall late in the morning into the afternoon. It was more than a buck, and I know people in the room killed this in here. Good, good lesson, good, good lesson to review and to go over when you go back and review your charts. Uh, I just knew then that this was going to continue. I was watching the trading action in this. It was weak. The stock was weak. The stock was falling. The stock was having selling action, nice concentrated selling action. Look, this is, if the day wouldn't close in one minute, less than a minute here, this stock would break another new low. Look, it's at 18.05. It's at 18.04, and the market closes in less than 30 seconds. Look at that. This would, this would break a new low if the market didn't close in 30 seconds. So, really nice here. Beautiful short uh, on this puppy today. And uh, really good golden gap. Have to have the conviction to do these. Uh, it's one of these ones where you could have done actually all three of the top picks today that I had in the room. You could have, you could have done them all. You could have done every single one of them. And they all ended up working and having nice moves in them. And this went to just the dream, dream target. And after it got down in the morning to that crazy number at 1850, I was thinking 1825, 1820. And it had this late setup. And I rarely, rarely call or do late setups. And particularly even if I do late setup, it's usually in something that I feel has more target in it. And this had such a big move here in the morning that it may not have had anything else to give. But I saw that it ha did have more target in it, and that's where I called it, and here it is. This is, this is a great uh, lesson to be learned for some people that did the late play and didn't hold it through. Because the move actually that happened in the afternoon, this is rare, okay? But the move that happened in the afternoon on this actually was just as big as the morning move. So you could have actually doubled your profits in this today if you had done the first morning trade, got all out, did the second late afternoon or late morning setup and got out, you could have doubled your money today. Or you could have done it three times, actually, from all the uh, entries. But it's one of these ones you got the exact same beautiful, huge dollar plus move in the afternoon as you did in the morning. And this is rare. Now, the market did fall today. The market did fall in the afternoon, so it helped this. But if you're watching the market, you knew this then when this was setting up to stay it through it to continue it. And it never did anything wrong here. It never did anything wrong. So this is, it was a beautiful trade here in the morning though, which is when I usually like to do them. Oh my gosh, did this just, look, hold on. looks like it just sold off there after hours. Wait, it just sold a crazy number there. Oh, that was one tick, 1781. Yeah, look at that. So look, look, it closed, it touched down in 1804. 
I mean, this this would have just kept going, actually, if the market just didn't close. <laughs> Every once in a blue moon, you'll get something that you can hold right in the close, but you really should be out of all your trades by, you know, 345, the latest. 345, the very, very latest. Uh, 350 max. I mean, you've got to give yourself 10, 15 minutes to get filled, to get out of the trade, to get situated, make sure that the order goes and gets executed in time for the close. This is Melissa with the stockswoosh.com. If you're interested in the upcoming Golden Gap class, it's this weekend, August 9th and 10th. There's a special bonus day on Monday, August 11th with live trading. We're going to do Golden Gap ratings. I think we're going to go over this one. I think we're going to do it. We're going to go over this one in the in the Monday class, in the Monday afternoon. We're going to, we're going to go over sale. It's a good one to go over here for everybody to review it. It was one of my top picks today of the three picks that I uh, liked, and it was a good gap. So nice trade in here for everybody in the room that did it, whether you did the first trade or the second trade or held it on down. And if you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap class for this weekend, the deadline's Friday, August 7th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Email me at melissa at Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.